A lot of great games this weekend in the Pac-12 Conference. Let's take a focus and a look at Colorado, at Oregon, Autzen Stadium. I'm going to be calling that game. Can't wait to dive in to this ball game. When you look at Colorado, they do a lot of unique things on offense. I think right now their run-pass option game, it's called RPO, is as good as any team in the entire country. When they fake the run, then all of a sudden can find their receivers down the field as they found Devin Ross early against Michigan. It puts a lot of pressure on the defense. They're going to see a four-man front against Oregon, very similar to what they saw against Michigan. And this RPO, run-pass option game, so many unique formations, it finds windows and it allows their receivers who are really talented catching the football in tight quarters to make plays. Now, where is Colorado going to have some issues? I think against the athletic team of Oregon in the perimeter run game. They do so many fly sweeps. This is where Michigan had a lot of success a week ago. Colorado's going to have to shore that up and losing Derek McCartney for the season, their defensive end, is not easy. Then, of course, the quarterback position. Is it Cephal Lufau? Is it the redshirt shirt, the red shirt freshman, Steven Montez? Whoever it is, when they have opportunities to make plays in big games like against Oregon, they're going to have to make them. They didn't do it a week ago when they had their opportunities. A drop there. I mean, interesting to watch this young man play. He did go 0 for 7, but I think when you go back and watch the film, watch him play what he did in the spring, Steven Montez, if he is the starter, is going to be fine operating this offense. The chance to talk to a few players. They're excited about his opportunity. You go on the road, only 65 players. It's going to be sold out. It's going to be electric. Can't wait to call that one. 230 Pac-12 Network, Colorado at Oregon. Don't miss it.